Hey everybody, Dr. Sis here. So in today's public health briefing, I'm gonna talk about a really intriguing question. And that question is this, which do you think is worse for a person? If someone drinks 20 Mountain Dews per day, every day, or if a person smokes 20 cigarettes or a pack every single day, which one's worse? Let's talk about it. We all know smoking's bad for us. It even says right on the package, Surgeon General's warning, quitting smoking greatly reduces serious risk and injury. So what does smoking do for us? Well, is there any benefit whatsoever? I don't think so. Are there downsides? Of course, right? Lung cancer, COPD, increased rates of heart disease, increased rates of other cancers, and reduces your immune system, right? This stuff's nasty. You know it's nasty, right? Seeing someone smoking in a car with a kid or a pregnant woman smoking should disgust you, right? Agreed? Okay, well, let's talk about soda. What are the benefits of soda? What's the health benefit of drinking a can of Mountain Dew? None. Not a single one. But what are the downsides? And this is from Harvard, by the way. I don't wanna say I'm just making this up. This is right from the Harvard website. One, it increases obesity quickly, right? And obesity leads to a myriad of other health problems. And one, which no public health officials like to admit for some reason, but obesity is a really big factor for complications from COVID. It's, it's a very, very serious thing. Two, diabetes. Drinking this stuff drastically increases your chance of getting diabetes. And a, a stat that should blow your mind is about 40% of kids born today are expected to develop diabetes largely because of sugary drinks. Promotes heart disease because drinking this damages cells, damaged cells produces inflammation, you have damage, cholesterol sticks to it, that's where the heart disease come from. It actually changes your hormones, causes like a hormone imbalance, so you store more fat as opposed to burn energy. It's like, what happens, you know, like when you get copious amounts of sugar and you don't burn off, what does your body do with it? It converts to fat and packs it on your body and packs it into your organs and just congests your entire system. What else does soda do? At least to gout, arthritis, and other bone conditions causes at least to osteopenia and osteoporosis. I mean, think about this. This chemicals, the chemicals in this can rot your teeth. Think about that. This stuff is so nasty, it causes your teeth to decay and fall out if you drink it consistently, right? What else does it do? These sugary drinks are terrible for your immune system. Absolutely terrible. It, it lowers your immune system. So when a person drinks soda on a regular basis, their immune system's lower. So when they catch a cold or the flu or something, instead of feeling off for a day, you're bedridden for a week because your immune system is damaged from drinking this stuff. I think I could argue convincingly that drinking 20 sodas is worse than 20 cigarettes, which means one soda is worse than one cigarette. So why in God's name would we ever let a kid drink a soda? Why in God's name do we ever bring, you ever go to a party where you open the coolers and water isn't even an option? It's either Mountain Dew, Pepsi, Coke, or just nothing but garbage. Like today, I seen a, a post from the CDC. If you're having a family gathering, make sure you and your kids are wearing masks and stay six feet apart. How about make sure you don't poison your kids with soda as some advice. Why isn't there a warning on here about all the dangers of soda like they are in cigarettes? But let's go farther, let's, let's really dive into this because this is stuff I think we should think about. So what is the source of sugar and soda? High fructose corn syrup. Now think about this, the United States Department of Agriculture, that's your government, right? The government that you know, cares so much about your health. They take your tax dollars and they pay farmers to grow copious amounts of corn, which makes corn sugar, corn syrup, dirt cheap, which makes soda dirt cheap, which makes it really easy for people to buy and consume. Let's go even farther. Not only does the, your government that cares about your health pay farmers to grow copious amounts of corn, it's conventional corn. So they pay farmers to just spray so much of our land with Roundup, which kills everything except for that corn or soy or whatever's been genetically modified to resist it. Disgusting, right? So we're, we're taking tax dollars to pollute the hell out of our environment, to grow corn, to create this, to pollute our kids and make them sick. And then all you ever hear about is wearing a freaking mask. Like don't, ain't nothing about, don't poison this five-year-old with soda. Don't put soda and Gatorade and this nasty sugary drinks in schools. Make sure they wear a mask and distance from each other because that's what we need to be healthy nowadays. 
Let's go farther. If you've ever seen conventional corn planted, the seeds, they're like bright pink and different bright colors because they're covered in these different uh, pesticides and fungicides, right? So what happens is these poison-filled seeds, some spill, some get dug up and birds eat them. And you, and there's, you wonder why there's such a massive reduction in the amount of songbirds out there. So we have these poison covered seeds that kill birds, we plant it, and then we spray a poison that just destroys the soil, destroys the microbiome, kills everything except for that corn plant. And then we take the corn and just the amount of fuel for the fertilizer and planting and harvesting and processing, the amount of fuel and air pollution that it takes to create this. And the only reason it's affordable is because the USDA, your government, which I mean, they care so much about your health, pays farmers to grow this stuff so you can make soda and junk food ridiculously dirt cheap and people can't afford the good healthy food because that's not subsidized. Have you ever thought this deep into it? So it, it drives me crazy for eight months, eight freaking months, all I hear about is mass social distancing, it, nothing about something like this. And here's how much this costs you guys. You know how much it costs to stop poisoning people with soda? Nothing, you actually make money, right? You should have seen my wife when I called her like, hey, can you grab me a case of soda and a pack of smoke? She's like, are you losing your mind? But no, nope, this is, uh, <laughs> I'm buying this stuff to hopefully, here's my goal with this. Hopefully someone watching this is like, holy shit, man, I've never actually thought about it like that. There is no freaking way I'm gonna poison my kid with soda ever again. Cause it really is. You, you cannot define this as anything other than poison. You can't, and don't try and justify it, right? I, I know the, the human psychology to try and justify it. was like, well, it's just, well, it's, well, it's just nothing, right? Now you know. Now before, because I used to drink soda when I was younger, I didn't know. It's like, man, if you knew what I knew, there's no way you would poison a kid with this or yourself. You're way too valuable and important for that, right? So hopefully, watching this, you think about it. Like you would never, ever give a kid a cigarette. So why in God's name would you give them a Mountain Dew or a Pepsi or a Coke or any of it? And, and some of the other stuff that is marketed as healthy, but it's just different forms of sugar water. And I'm gonna throw a juice in there too. If you actually look at juice, oftentimes there's more sugar per ounce of water than you find in a soda, right? And you'll say, well, it's got vitamin C. It's just marketing nonsense. They add synthetic, like a, a vitamin or a vitamin C into it just so they can write 100% vitamin C on the label. There's no way that little bit of vitamin C overrides a massive amount of sugar. And that's by the way, that's why the sugary drinks are so bad for your immune system is because they block vitamin C from being able to help your immune system. Right? Even go deeper, man. Sugar is so bad. When they do like cancer scans, what do they give a person? Like concentrated sugar water and then take the test because the cancer cells really quickly absorb that glucose, the sugar, so they can see it on the scan. I mean, this stuff is so bad for you, right? So all of us out there in public health, let's lead by example and not drink this nonsense and really encourage people to avoid buying it and at all times, the perfect drink always has been and always will be water. All right, so hopefully you found value to this and hopefully if just one person out there watches this and says, you know what? I cannot believe I'm poisoning myself or my family with this nonsense. I'm never buying it again. And I'm not drinking it from, please, please, please. Like how do you get other people to change like this? Lead by example. I think one of the worst things I see is when, you know, an adult is drinking their sodas in front of a kid but telling them to drink water. No, man, lead by example, it's like, hey, I don't drink soda, it's disgusting. Why would I poison, rot my teeth and poison myself, right? I just drink water and I only have water in the house. So hopefully you find value in this and I'm gonna keep coming with more public health information other than running around wearing a mask.